everyone and welcome to another episode of the Jamie Hughes Show. My name as always is Jamie Hughes and today I'm going to be giving you my review of Incredibles 2. Now if you want to keep up to date with all the latest movie news and reviews then make sure you hit that subscribe button and as always with my videos this review may include spoilers so you have now been warned. So Incredibles 2 was, yes you guessed it, it was incredible. A really, really fun family adventure but I wouldn't say it's necessarily exclusively for families and kids I think if you are any age you could appreciate this movie and one of my favorite things about Incredibles 2 was the story that they told with the family dynamic I really really like that they changed a lot of things up and they doubled down on a lot of stuff and one of the things again that I really really liked about this movie was the change up between the, the family roles between between Helen and Bob I thought that was really really well done and what I really like that about that as well is that that's kind of th when I see a movie and I think oh they're making a sequel I think what would I like to see in the sequel what are the questions I have and that was one that I instantly thought was yeah that's a really cool thing to do which is switch up the dynamic in the family between uh, the mum and dad so we have Elastigirl and Helen who goes off and fights the crime and then we get this other side with Bob who has to stay home and look after the kids and it really filled in a lot of gaps for me uh, more about the character and we got to see a different side of Bob as we did with Helen you know Helen is now the one going out and kicking ass and fighting crime as Elastigirl whereas Bob has to stay with the kids and say we get to see a more human side of him and I really enjoyed that whole family aspect of Incredibles 2. I know it was there in the first one but as I said they really really doubled down on it in this movie and I think it worked exceptionally well. Another thing, nay, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say this is definitely without a doubt my favourite thing about Incredibles 2 was Jack Jack. Oh he was amazing, so so good, really enjoyed the Jack Jack character, he stole every scene he was in for me even before he started to get his moments in the second and third act of the film there was just so many scenes there's one in particular where it's very very early on when they're sitting around there eating the chinese food and i was just drawn to jack jack he had so many great little nuances and little reactions and he just really really stole the show for me obviously i think the best bit of this movie is when jack jack has the fight with the raccoon it's just so ludicrous and so over the top but really really stole the show and as i say jack jack is just absolutely incredible i seriously just go and urge you guys to go and watch this movie for jack jack scenes on their own he was so so good really really funny and again it was something we didn't see in the first movie so it was uh, on a more serious note it's really great to see that character progression because again we got to see all of the pars integrate and, and react um, with Jack Jack as well so I really really enjoyed that. Another thing that was just exceptional in this movie um, and I'm going to tie these points together is that First off, this film is absolutely stunning. It looks, again, if you'll pardon the stupid pun, it looks incredible. The attention to detail and the set pieces in this movie are exceptional. Seriously, bre breathtaking at points. I can't even say it, I'm not excited by it. Seriously, breathtaking at points. And to complement that, I thought a lot of the action sequences were really, really well executed and well done in this movie as well. And I have to give props to Brad Bird for that. Obviously, we've seen in direct action movies with Mission Impossible, and he kind of um, overlaid that into the art of animation here. Seriously, so good. Um, a couple of them that point out for me, uh, stick out for me, is the scene where Elastigirl is chasing the train through the city and it just it literally it reminded me of some great action films it really reminded me a little bit of the the highway scene in the matrix reloaded that's how good it was seriously so so good so those are the things that i really enjoyed about incredibles 2 but i do have a few issues with this movie i did feel like the reveal of who the screen slaver was was very weak and a little bit predictable now not to be that guy but i felt like one of the devas were going to be the screen slaver from very early on in the film and in fact probably had an inkling from the very first trailer that we got of uh, Incredibles 2 which was a real shame 
shocking to see that that you know it was so predictable and it was almost broadcast to, to us if you will um, it was a little bit of a shock and did take me a little bit by surprise that it was Evelyn but again it wasn't like uh, really impactful it was like oh okay they're going that way with the story instead of this way whereas if you think about the reveal that we got of the villain in the first Incredibles movie yes that maybe was a little bit predictable as well but it still had that shocking emotional value which we we didn't really get with this one which was a little bit of a shame and then kind of to echo that I did feel like the film's final act was a little bit weak. Let's kind of skip over the fact that they totally ripped off the ending to this movie from Speed 2, but you know, we'll, we'll look past that. But what I feel like, I felt like it was very weak. There wasn't really much drama, and it, it felt very, as I say, self-explanatory and a little bit basic into how The Incredibles saved the day in this movie. Again, if you make... I hate to do it, but if you make the comparison to the first movie where they're fighting those robots where, you know, they're very smart and they're adapting to what they're doing, there was points where you think, well, how are they going to all work as a family together to get out of this peril? But in Incredibles 2, it wasn't like that. It was very simple. It was, okay, right, Frozone's going to break this side of the boat. Um, Mr. Incredible's going to go underneath the boat and he's going to push it. And it just felt a little bit basic. And to be honest with you, I found myself questioning their decisions as well because I did feel like, well, why doesn't Void and um, the character Void, why doesn't she just make a hole and like they shoot through a different dimension and move a little bit? It just felt, as I say, it just felt a little bit too basic and it did feel a little bit flat. And um, it just felt like it never really got out of third gear, whereas it could have had a really big like emotional impactful ending so I just would have liked to have seen a little bit more from the kind of final act from this movie but that being said it's still a really really enjoyable movie I say it's an enjoyable movie for anybody of all ages and anybody that likes any sort of genre whether you like action movies superhero movies whether you want to take your kids to go and see it over the summer holidays it's got something for everybody and, and something you can take away and enjoy from this movie. So I do really suggest you guys go and see Incredibles 2. And if you have already seen Incredibles 2, let me know all of your thoughts on it. As always, guys, down in those comments below. And if you did enjoy this video and you want to keep up to date with all the latest movie news and reviews, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I will see you in the very next episode of The Jamie Hughes Show. Ta-ra! Mm -hmm.